G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Caitlin and I'm an American living in beautiful Sydney, Australia. So I recently did a video talking about the Battle of Brisbane, reacted to a video about this battle that I, as an American, had absolutely no idea even existed until I saw that video. And a few people in the comments had talked about these Australian war brides. So somebody had actually sent this video clip over Australian war brides for us, 1945, from the channel British Pathé, Pathy? Not quite sure what that little accent at the end is supposed to be, but Pathé, maybe? So let's see what's going on with these Australian war brides, which sounds like a very, very intense title, to be honest. So grab a Vicky, grab a cuppa, and let's get right into this video. They came, they saw, they conquered and howled 10,000. My god, I miss 1940s fashion, the way everything looked like. It was just, it was a classy time, classy period. Everything was quality, everything was well made anyway. I, I love the 40s and 50s, I love the looks of that area. Obviously, could do without some of the politics of that area, especially as a woman. But I love the overall look, the feel, the fashion of it. thousand Australian brides, in fact. And for the brides and fiancés of American servicemen, a club has been formed in Sydney. It has 600 members. Girls come from all parts of Australia, and many have already gone to the States to settle down. They started an entire club for people who married American servicemen? Really? I mean, I guess this is a day and age before meetup and Facebook groups and WhatsApp chats. But good for them for actually finding support like with one another on top of that you're talking about a bunch of australian women so it's something that they all have in common they all grew up not necessarily in the same home like it's not like everybody grew up in sydney or everybody grew up in one particular town they came from all across australia but they have something in common they have some support which in really any time but wartime especially when your husband is away or your husband's back home and you're in australia and you're trying to find a way over there it was probably absolutely crucial for women at this day and age because it's not like they would have had much support otherwise. Founder and president is Miss Elva Collins, seen at left with the American Consul General, Mr. Eli Palmer. New members, particularly little ones, are constantly coming along. Club makes all wedding arrangements for members. Find I forgot that they put like those little weird baby hats on them. Like obviously it makes sense, the Australian sun and whatnot, and I don't they obviously didn't have sunscreen like we do today. I assume they had something for sun protection back then though, besides just hats and really long sleeves, but obviously it's probably one of the best way to keep kids protected back then. And bridal gowns, bridesmaids, even the minister. Miss Collins officially represents the bridegroom's parents. They're worthy ambassadors of their homeland. I hope to make my home in Long Beach, New York, and even though I'm adopting America as my country, I intel intend telling the American people all I possibly can about Australia. My husband is somewhere up north, but in the very near future, we intend making our home in Berkeley, California. Oof, all across America, too, obviously. And it's funny how the accents sound a little bit different. Obviously, we're talking about a very different time period. Australia became a federation in 1901. Accents do sound a little bit different now than they would have in the 40s and whatnot. You could pick up a little bit of that like modern day Aussie accent, but there's still such a British tinge to it. Like I'm wondering where these women grew up also, if that would have played a factor in just how they sound. Thoughtful gesture is the fortnightly visit by club members to the American War Cemetery at Rookwood, Sydney. They represent wives, mothers, and sweethearts in America. Does that still exist? Is there still a U.S. war memorial in Rookwood? If you know, let me know down below because that would actually be a pretty interesting place to visit just from an American's perspective. I didn't realize that there would be an American war memorial somewhere in Australia. Lost Rosemary, the remembrance dear to those next of kin. American male typifying a new bond of kinship between Australia and the United States. So I know that this created a lot of tensions between Australian men and American men, particularly when Australian men came back from war. A lot of people in the comments actually did teach me this. 
that if you think about it, the Aussies were in Europe, they were in Africa, they were there for years going through pretty much the entirety of World War II, America didn't do World War II until much later, and a lot of them were actually stationed over here in Australia, and the only battle that happened on Australian soil, as far as I know, if this isn't correct, let me know in the comments below, but I believe the only incident was the bombing of Darwin. Other than that, there were no major battles fought on Australian soil during World War II. So you have these men who are away for years and years and then they come back and their girlfriends or their sisters or their cousins or their best friends or the crush that they had before they left are suddenly all with these American soldiers or married to them or might have even had kids with them at this point. That definitely created some tension, some real conflict, but I mean, it happened so long ago at this point that for the most part, that is just a page in the history books. A lot of that animosity isn't really there anymore. There's still some issues between America and Australia, mostly Australia issues with Americanization and whatnot of Australian culture over here. But typically for the most part, America and Australia are allies. They have been allies and this is just a page in the history books. There's really no resentment, that's my understanding, between Australians for what happened that long ago at this point. But anyway, that's just me. That's just what I've seen and what I've seen in the comments below. Let me know your opinions. I learned so, so much from you guys and it's always interesting to hear from actual Australians instead of me just trying to make assumptions from what I see and the people I know because I know so few people compared to the vast, vast majority of Australians who actually watch this channel. It amazes me that so many of you have subscribed, that so many of you have viewed these videos, so I do really appreciate the support, you guys. Please, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. It really, really does help support me and this channel, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.